make mismatches. Chris Paul has Nikola Jokic oh. in the corner. At least makes he, him pay. You do the whole. But at least he's still trying. Yourself around, baby. Uh, he is so mean to big men, Tracy. Come on. What are you supposed to do? I mean, Jokic out there on the island with that's his teammates' fault. Go double. I mean, come <laughs> Look on, at that. Man. Everybody just standing around. You know around what? When you're watching. small and everybody else, that's what that's little right. guys you gotta do. That's right. You got to do it. You got to do it, it, right? Embarrassing. It. All right. So in that spirit, we are running it back. Chris Paul's top handles of all time. Uh -oh. I was happy for this one. Producer Bobmer, roll it. What do you got? Number three, CP3 on the break. 2009 puts the move oh. on Carlos Arroyo. Whoa. And yeah. one. I mean, it's and actually one. he. Good defense by Carlos. Yeah, but look what he does with that. Got his hand caught in a cookie jar, though. <laughs> I, love, I love New Orleans CP3, don't you? Oh, he Number was a bad two, boy. 2012, yeah. Chris, victimizing Mike Conley. See, that's just too many dribbles. I mean, come on, that's good defense okay, but until it ends that. In the basket? Yeah. Listen, man, you play defense for like. They, look at this. Ten seconds. Like, you know, it's, it's, like, like, it's, like, like, it it's like a cornerback asking to cover receiver right? for 14 seconds. Get some pressure and on the quarterback. One, CP3. Taking on Anthony Carter in the corner. Oh, oh here we go, that, here we go. Man. Hate that. Oh. Oh. Goaltend? Was that a goaltend? AC. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yo. Oh, goaltend at the end, yes. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I'm tired right. after all that work. That was exhausting. He's a bad boy. Speaking of Chris Paul and the Rockets, maybe they are a little more ready for liftoff maybe. than we maybe. saw the first couple weeks of the season. They beat the Nuggets, a very strong Denver team, 109 to 99 last night. Clint Capella leading the way, season high 24 points. James Harden, who looked so hot during this game at times. Right. CP3 both scoring more than 20. Houston now six and seven on the year. T Mac, they have won back to back games, both by double digits. Do you feel that they are starting to rebound from that well, early start? Well, this was a very impressive win, considering how well Denver has started off this season. Um, being in, in a bit. Red, yeah. they, they are telling. And going into Denver, you know, despite Houston with this slow start, I mean, this was a very convincing win. Without James Harden, he, I mean, he had a dismal first half of this game. Right, but then... But, but then he turned it up. I yeah. mean, that's just the type of player he is. Um, I, they play the Warriors tomorrow. Without Steph... I want to see those guys, and I'll be able to really judge and see if they're back. But right now, I can't give it to them. I want to see how they uh, defend home court when they play against Golden State tomorrow. Their problem's been their bench, Rachel. Right. They have one of the worst benches. I think maybe they do have the worst, worst bench, bench in the league. And Eric Gordon, before he got hurt, was struggling. So when he comes back, he gets back into form. He gets back into rhythm. I think that helps them immeasurably. I think you're right, though, Trace. This is sort of not only the tale of two teams that certainly went into the season thinking they would see each other again mm -hmm. in the Western Conference, but a tale of two sort of spinning narratives. It was just three days ago. Sunday. Today's Wednesday. It was just three <laughs> days ago that Daryl Morey is giving a press conference literally up against a wall mm -hmm. trying to answer questions about Carmelo Anthony and why he was not going to be with the team for mm -hmm. the rest of this road trip and what was going to happen with him. Warriors obviously going through what they've been going through for the last 48 hours. Both of these franchises are in places they did not expect, and here they are playing each other, and mm. it's going to be a little bit of a test as who can put themselves back together enough to play good basketball and beat the other guy. So I think it's a great game. Can't wait. I'll be in the building. I was going to say, Tracy McGrady will be in Houston for that one.